The biggest book haul to end all book hauls. Well, that's a lie, actually. A modest book haul of mostly used fantasy books. I think in total, I probably spent around $60. I don't make these videos often. I'm not a channel that posts a lot of book hauls. So a lot of these books are ones that I've kind of collected over the year of 2021. And maybe like one of them I got this year. Now, hey, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I would like to make it as a YouTuber. So if you could just subscribe, that would be nice. First off, I have a few things that were sent to me. Now, Brendan Delton sent me this Christmas in Middle Earth vinyl that he made. I know it's not Christmas time anymore, but it can always be Christmas if you listen to this vinyl. This isn't sponsored, but honestly, this was such a fun vinyl to listen to. Brendan Delton made some really funny, just Middle Earth cozy songs that you can listen to to get in the Christmas mood, and I would recommend them. So yeah, Tolkien fans, you're gonna want to check this out. This next thing I have been waiting so long to open, a uh, Quinn from the channel Quinn's Ideas, which I'm sure you've heard of. He makes amazing videos, especially if you're a Dune fan or a Song of Ice and Fire fan, you know his channel. And he's genuinely just an awesome guy as well, but he made a graphic novel, you've probably heard of it, and he sent me, oh yeah, he sent me two different covers of Tadya. Matthew Welton, I believe, is the artist, and the art, let's take a look here, the artwork is honestly incredible, this looks so good. Uh, Quinn, my dude, a huge congratulations on the graphic novel, and big thank you for sending me two different cover versions of it. I can't even decide which one I like more. Okay, maybe this one is winning me over just a little bit more. If you want to know what it's about, Quinn actually made some awesome book trailers that have really great voiceover and just quality in general, so make sure to check those out. I'll actually leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out Tadya. Oh, it looks like he also sent a bunch of bookmarks and stuff. Well, I am going to be reading this later today. The next thing was sent to my P.O. Box. I have no idea what it is. Probably a book. Oh, this is a very cool cover. The Seventh Cadence by Jim Wilborn. An action-packed epic fantasy adventure perfect for fans of Brandon Sanderson, Brent Weeks, and Robert Jordan. Well, I'm probably going to like it then. I am really digging that cover. A cover with a dragon on it always gets bonus points. Thank you, Jim, for sending me your book. I can't wait to read it. Okay, on to other books. I bought Crown of Shadows in my recent recent bookshop adventure video that uh, sadly not many people watched, but I ended up finding the, the rest of the series. So I got the entire Cold Fire trilogy by C.S. Friedman. It's got beautiful cover art by Michael Whalen, who also did the Stormlight books and lots of other fantasy books. Next, we got some books that I got for Christmas, A House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielowski. My mom got this one for me. It's been on my wish list for a while. I still don't really know what this book is about. It's very trippy. Simply put, it's a book about a man's descent into insanity. It contains three interconnected stories, and the plot is centered on a fictional documentary about a family whose house is impossibly larger on the inside than the outside. Now, House of Leaves is well known for the unusual format that it's told in. Certain sections are written upside down, making you have to turn the book almost 200 of the pages are nearly blank, and copious amounts of footnotes accompany the main text. You yourself have to be a detective and work to understand its complexities. It's an extremely experimental book that's gained a cult following, and I can't wait to read it. This is the remastered and full color edition. I really enjoy like trippy magical realism books, and this seems like that, so I definitely want to make a video on this. This page here reminds me of an I Spy book. Does it not? My sister got me book two of Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn, Stone of Farewell by Tad Williams. I'm really enjoying this series and I do want to make some videos on it. Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang. Is it Kaigen or Kagan? I don't know. I have heard a lot of good things about this book. The premise, the setting, the kind of Japanese inspiration totally sounds like something I want to read and I believe this is a one-off book. I think it's a standalone. There's even a blurb from Patrick Leo on the back. Guys, go check out Patrick Leo's channel, subscribe, his reviews, all of his videos are awesome. The next two were kind of my Christmas gift to myself. I had enough indigo points to pretty much get them for free. Uh, this is volume one and two of The Book of the New Sun by Gene Wolfe. You may know that I'm already reading book one and I am loving it. It is kind of 
It's kind of a confusing book to get into. There's just a lot there. But honestly, if it's as good as it already is, this is probably going to end up being one of my favorite series. The next book I picked up while filming a failed bookshop adventure with Katie. It just didn't end up working out because the music in the bookstore was just too loud, so I couldn't use any of the footage. I'll probably put some up on screen right now without the audio, but I ended up finding the books of the Great Book of Amber. This is the complete Amber Chronicles by Roger Zelanzi. This is pretty much a classic fantasy book. I've heard so many people mention it, but honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea at all what it's about, and I kind of want to keep it that way. I just want to dive into it blind, and luckily I got all 10 of them, so that's a lot of reading. I'm gonna try to treat it like one big book and just binge my way through all 10 of them. So I don't just read a couple and then set it down and then forget about it. I gotta read it all. This one cost me $12, so it's probably the more expensive book on this list, uh, but it's 10 books in one, so that's an excellent price. This was the only book I got in 2022, The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. The Giver is a classic dystopian. There's a movie, I think, as well. I have never read it. I have never watched the movie, so I don't actually know what it's about, but this edition is so beautiful. It's got, you know, the red paint. Pages. City of Bones by Martha Wells. No, not that City of Bones. Martha Wells has written a lot of science fiction. She wrote the Murderbot Diaries. And this book I kind of just found on a whim. The cover intrigued me. I read the back of it. It sounds super interesting. Where once great galleons roamed the sea, sand ships now traverse the great waste, and a glittering chain of city-states dots the desert that has no end. From what I gather, it's a post-apocalyptic desert fantasy with a quest for ancient relics and also a heist story. There's this great city, a great monolithic structure towering over the desert, and where the tier that you live on determines how high up the food or water chain that you are. Every treasure hunter, madman, and schemer come here to find their heart's desire, but no one knows friend from foe when it comes to the desperate fight for dwindling resources. It sounds very awesome. Mark of Athena, book three in the Heroes of Olympus. I read the Percy Jackson books way back in elementary school, and I read the first Heroes of Olympus book, but I never, I never continued. But in the future, I want to make a remember reading video on Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and also later on this series as well. If those are videos you want to see, let me know. The Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, The Unbeliever by Stephen R. Donaldson. I bought this book because I've seen this series pop up in my comments every once in a while. You guys recommend it to me, and I've wanted to read some other series by Stephen Donaldson, so I'm glad I found this book for like 50 cents. The Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst. This is another book I found for a dollar, and a few of my YouTube friends have made reviews on it. It sounds like a very interesting book, so I thought I'd give it a read. The Chronicles of Prydain by Lloyd Alexander. I found books one to five, except for two. This is, you know, classic kids fantasy. It's what the Disney Black Cauldron movie is based on. I believe it was based on a bit of the first and second book. That's a movie I've got nostalgia for, and I've never ever read the books, so I need to do that. If only I could find book two. Shadow March by Tad Williams. When I'm done with Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn, I definitely want to read more Tad Williams. He's becoming one of my favorite authors uh, from the books I've read so far. And Shadow March, I've heard some really good things about. And this uh, copy that I found is used, but it looks like it's completely brand new. So I'm happy I found this one. The next book I found for super cheap was The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I think this was like $2. And I've been wanting to read this book for a long time. I have heard a lot of good things. Neuromancer by William Gibson, a a classic cyberpunk sci-fi book. I've listened to a little bit of the audiobook in the past, but I want to actually finish it this time. This isn't really the best cover of it, but it was 50 cents. The Sword by Deborah Chester. Now, the reason I picked this up is because I have been reading the fantasy fiction formula by Deborah Chester, and this has been helping me a lot with my own writing. So I wanted to read one of her fantasy books, and I found this for a dollar. Those people that say you can't learn writing from reading a book, you have to just write. I don't think that's entirely true. Yes, just getting in the habit of writing and just starting your book is probably the best advice that you're gonna come across, but I feel like I have learned so much from reading uh, books like this. Writing the breakout novel is another really great one. Also, reading books like this, at least from my experience, uh, just kind of gets me more in the writing mood. It kind of gets me hyped up to start writing my own breakout novel. 
This book I picked up because it sounds very, very weird. It is Selenture or Selenture by Storm Constantine. We follow Casimir, the last survivor of a dead civilization, alone in a still graveyard of humans of empty buildings. He starts writing a story about two young men in an elaborate, vibrant world of moving cities guided by pilot stones. Only that world and these characters begin to become more real than Casimir himself ever dreamed he'd be. And as the story takes on a life of its own, Casimir becomes part of his own story. It sounds very mind-bending and unique. I don't know what to expect with this book. And finally, The Dragon Prince by Melanie Ron. This is a classic 80s fantasy. I've heard some people talking about it on Reddit, and I wanted to give it a read myself, and I happened to find it for very, very cheap. And it's in really good condition. The spine isn't even bent or anything. So that is the end of my big book haul. Let me know if you have read any of these books, if you've heard of any of them, or want to read them, um, and if there's any that I should put on my priority list of books to get to. As always, thank you for watching, and a big thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon, as well as those who have helped out on Ko-Fi as well. Thank you guys so much.